the smallest dogs think they can handle the biggest dogs. Yeah, that was me. And I didn't care. I was like, he probably would have like whooped my ass. Hi guys, it's Kristen and this is going to be my first story time about the time I almost got into a fight with a guy. This happened literally last night. No, what is today? Sunday. This happened Friday night. I was just at home, chilling, finishing a paper that I had for my historical costume class. And then I was just gonna chill and watch a movie because for the past few days, it's just been hectic and I've had a lot of things to do. My friend, um, we'll call him Daniel. So he texted me <coughs> and I was like, please don't ask me to go out because I was tired. I was just ready to watch a movie. He texted me, um, hey, like, what are you doing? Like, come to Temple tonight. Temple is a nightclub. He's one of my good friends. Okay, like I was down. I was eating at the time. I didn't even finish my food because by this time it was already like 8.30 and I was, I was bummed down. So I had to get ready. So I put my food to the side. He picked me up and then we went with a few friends. We were trying to get into the temple, but, um, the temple, temple. So we were in line, but we were in like the same spot for an hour and a half. Um, we were trying to find like the lady that was like going around and asking people wanted a table. So my friend was like about to drop like four or five hundred dollars for a table because she didn't want to wait in line. There were like no more tables on the dance floor. It just didn't work out. So I just went back into line. They were still in the same spot. We left and then went to a place in the Mission in San Francisco. It was pretty crowded like when we got there. When we were in line for Temple Daniel and um, his roommate, we'll call him uh, Sam. We'll call him Sam. So <laughs> Daniel and Sam went to go get a bottle while me, friend, and I'm forgetting names. <laughs> Daniel's girlfriend so me Daniel's girlfriend and my friend were waiting in line at Temple while they went to go get a bottle well that's when I went to go find the girl who I was trying to get a table from like one of the girls that worked at the you know what I, mean? I had already taken shots from when we were in line maybe like a shot and a half I hadn't eaten at this point so I was already like done I was good I was feeling I was feeling something already. Everything was cool. We found a table. My friend, we're gonna call her Kiera. Okay, so Kiera was talking to some guy and she had found him. He was at the bar. He was already in the bar when we got inside. So um, he saw her, so then we went and they had a table. So we went and joined their table. My other friend, Daniel's girlfriend, will call her Risa. <laughs> Um, so Risa, her feet were hurting because she hadn't gone out in a little while so she was wearing heels and her feet were hurting because we were standing in line for an hour and a half so when we got there she wanted to sit down. Daniel saw this chair at the table next to us that no one was using. He was asking the people, are you using this chair? It was this guy, we'll call him Tate. <laughs> Tate was like, oh no, no, look, I'm using it. And so then Daniel was like, okay, it's chill. Five minutes goes by, we're like dancing, whatever. And he sees that no one's sitting in the chair. So then he goes up to Tate. Are you guys using the chair? Because my girlfriend's feet hurt. Tate decides to like turn around to his friend. I don't care if that be, <laughs> I don't care if that B's feet hurt. And that really pissed off Daniel because Tate was basically calling his girlfriend a B. He was like, you know, I can hear you, right? Tate starts getting all up in Daniel's face. Why are you getting all up in my face for blah 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 blah. Just basically going off for no reason. And Daniel wasn't even trying to fight him or anything. And mind you, Tate was a little taller and like a temper and you could tell like he, he was really angry for like no reason. Just because Daniel wanted the chair for his girlfriend. I just didn't want anything else to go wrong in the night. And I could already tell that Daniel was already feeling upset for some reason. When we got in the club, like I knew that he he was already feeling kind of down and I don't know why but I just his facial expressions show that so then I stepped in and <laughs> I'm like 4'10 and 3 quarters okay 
Daniel was backing up while Tate was like all up in his face and I was like hey 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 like it's fine it's cool like it's fine like we're good we're good we're good Tate decides to take my hand and like flick it hella hard away from me and that's when I like snapped and that's when I like snapped and I was like no, 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 no. don't lay your hands on me don't ever touch a girl blah 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 <laughs> I was just going off security guard came over defending Tate hey like you guys need to find another table and I was like he's the one who freaking laid his hands and my friends came over and basically just trying to calm me down and like get me out of it I'm just gonna uh, try to forget this and my heart is beating guys I'm reliving this moment <laughs> I'm just gonna dance I'm gonna have a good time whatever like F this dude I was just dancing with my friend Kira and we're just having a good time or whatever I look over and Tate is like giving me the dirtiest look he's like and I'm just like dancing like And I was like ready to fight. I don't don't know why. I was like a chihuahua. You know, like the, the smallest dogs think they can handle the biggest dogs. Yeah, that was me. And I didn't care. I was freaking down to fight him. And he probably would have like whooped my ass. But like I was so mad because you don't ever freaking lay your hand on a girl. And for him to do that, are you really that insecure that you have to stoop down to that level where you're going to fight like a little ass girl? Like, are you serious? My friend, what did I name him? Sam, he was like telling me, he's like, okay, yeah, I talked to the security guard earlier. And I was like, oh, like, what did he say? And he was like, yeah, he was talking shit about you. And I was like, what the fuck about me? Like, what did he say? That little girl got a mouth. I'm trying to defend my friend. Of course, I'm going to like snap. Sam was like, yeah, but it all comes down to a race thing. Just think about it. Like, the guy that tried to start the fight was black. Who was the security guard? He was also a black guy. As much as you don't want it to be that, it all came down to erasing. Lost my mind. I was just like, okay, I can't, I can't. And like, I started just crying. It was just really annoying that he was defending Tate just because he was a guy and because he was black. But <laughs> yeah, so that is my story <laughs> of how I almost got into a fight with a grown ass man. I don't know why I felt so brave. Like, like I could handle them. I hope you guys like this story. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be notified of all my new videos. I want to start doing more story times like this. I have a lot to tell you guys and I'm excited. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!